This video is going to be a patron's pick. Are you interested in voting each month? Head on over to Patreon. There's going to be one every month. No. Kaiju, Turtles, Dragon Ball, and more. It's Steven Story Reviews. <sighs> hey there, collectors. Steven here, and welcome to my review of the 12-inch... Uh, where is it at? Yeah, it's gonna be, yeah, 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 the 12-inch Mondo Pulgasari vinyl figure, the soft vinyl, even though it's hard vinyl. It's gonna be a review of that guy, and I do have to say that this guy has been met with some controversy. So, we did have the smaller vinyl figures, which I did review earlier, uh, which came out in a few different paint variants, and the one that I was particularly fond of was the more so accurate, if you will, with the green and gold one. I did pick up the Joker one as well, the purple and green, but uh, we did have a, a nice big guy in the 30 centimeter or so style X plus version, and this one had a big quality control, uh-oh, that pretty much plagued everyone, and I mean everyone. I ended up with two of them. One I obviously did ship back, as I'm about to tell you my tale, but uh, well, let's, let's get into it. So. That being said, is this going to be a monumental flop just because of that quality control issue? Or are there some redeeming factors here that maybe, maybe you should just consider picking this up? But uh, don't mind the voice crack. I'm going to keep that because I think it's funny. Let's take a look to see whether or not Paul Gasari here is going to be worth adding into your collection. Featuring a completely different sculpt from the smaller carded and bagged version, the Iron Bull Kaiju here actually looks pretty intimidating. I'm, I'm very much so a big fan of the pose. Polgasari does look very intimidating here, and honestly, the paintwork really does help bring out the sculpted details, unlike the smaller version, which in its own right is a misnomer by saying it's smaller. Uh, that version as well is nice, nicely sized and uh, is going to tower over most of your other figures on your shelf. Uh, this 12-inch soft vinyl figure really, really does look intimidating, and some of the finer details as well. It looks so, so good. And if you really want to take an up-close and personal look, which that's why you're watching a Stevens toy review, right? Right. You take a look at the eyes. We can see all of the details are really well executed. We can see that the pupils are just on point. The iris is great. A couple of small things here and there, not that big a deal. We do have the gold for the horns, which looks immaculate very very good we do have the tufts of fur and the scaling on the torso which all look great we do have those shoulder spikes which have a fantastic nice transition of bronze into gold we do also have that armor plating on the forearms which looks great oh those claws what's going on there they look scraped Mmm, that's a downside. Well, you know what? Let's keep going. We maybe we maybe got some more good stuff going on here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we do have the spikes on the back, which um, look for the most part pretty good. We do have a couple of small, small, minor details that maybe, you know, aren't the best that are going to upset, you know, the folks who want things to be immaculate. But otherwise, they look pretty much fine, except for a couple of ones there that look like they got some paint scrape. Huh, I wonder what that's what that's got to be about. The tail is short, stubby, and pokey. Looks very, very good. Now, what's going on here for the overall paint application. What what's the, what's the deal? Let's take a look. So here's the unfortunate thing with this figure. When Mondo shipped these out at the factory level, they made a big oopsie whoopsie um, uh, thing here. And what they did was the twist tie, the one twist tie that they used to hold Pulgasari down in the thin plastic tray was not long enough to actually tie together in any meaningful way in the back. And in some cases, it wasn't even tied at all. So that means that the twist tie was just there for show, and it allowed Polkasari to move forward and back and shift around in the package. Now, you do see that there is some protective plastic there, which naturally would have helped with Polkasari going backwards, right? If it would have been covering him from the front like a bag and would have created a shield, it would have prevented paint rub. But this wasn't the case. That protective plastic was just there on the back, which in some cases didn't even help at all. On inspection, putting this guy back in the box for this review, I noted that they taped the plastic down so it was taut, so this way Polgasari was not a firm fit into the actual clamshell 
packaging tray, whatever you want to call it. So Polgasari naturally wanted to float above the tray that they made for him. So basically from the start, this figure was never secured when it left China. And here's the best part. They're all like this. I even had correspondence with customer service indicating that I would really like them to check before they sent out a replacement and either it wasn't done or it was done and they just took the L and they sent out one that was just as equally damaged as my original and they just offered me a refund. Just as a note, this is an over $100 figure that they still have in stock. I'm not the only person that has this issue. There are others who have this as well. So, it's not just me. Yeah. Size comparison because there's no articulation. And as you can see, he's definitely going to be one big bull kaiju. Yeah, he's going to tower over pretty much everything you've got on the shelf. So buy now, skip or wait for a deal. I know that the bulk of this review is basically talking about that quality control issue, but I don't really know what else to say. Um, it's very, very cool, but unfortunately for those of you who are into the larger scale figures, um, there really isn't much else on the market for you. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, it, that's, a, that's a pretty bummer. And now that I'm recording this, it's $175. So, yeah. Yeah, they, they pretty much all have this quality control issue of the scraped paint, which some had broken fingers and toes. If you're going to get it, you're going to have an imperfect figure here. Just something to really keep in mind. Um, but with that being said, without that quality control issue, it's really amazing. And it's fantastic in its own right. Well, collectors, that brings us to the end of the video today, and I just wanted to take a second to thank you so much for watching. Now, you've heard a lot from me, I'd like to hear a little bit from you. Drop in the comments down below whether or not you liked it, you hated it, or maybe you were somewhere in between. I also want to take an extra second here for a nice, humongous thank you to all the patrons for SDR over the last month who have really helped the channel grow into what it can be today. So to all of you, two big thumbs up. Thank you very much. And now the end card should be popping up, which will give you a few clickable links, like maybe to subscribe or head on over to my Patreon, or some short URLs, like to my social media or to my Teespring store. There's also a video I hand selected for you, so if you want to watch another STR video, I hand selected some good content for you to watch, so definitely check out that video. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.